All right, guys, we, uh, we're hunkered down under DJ's tent here. He's the only one that's got an awning, you know, so. Big enough for us. He, uh, he, we took this ground sheet tarp, and as you can see, we extended it out. Just give us a little bit more coverage and everything. Uh, we're just getting coffee and stuff together right now. Uh, we're contemplating on when to start cooking our supper. Probably here within another half hour or so we're going to start. Just getting stuff together, cooking the hamburger and the... What else do you bring? Hamburger and... Ground beef and ground pork. There we go. Uh, get that cooked up, get our potatoes in there, and then get everything else and hopefully make the best of it. So, we're going to kick back with our coffee and try to, you know, back and forth on different things and what we want to do later on after done eating supper so but yeah here it comes again so well, we're just gonna kick back and enjoy the coffee and enjoy DJ's DIY stove you get that thing rocking again so we're gonna do the uh, you know first initial cookout on it tonight so or, well, sorry, this afternoon. Uh, yeah, these pipes just starting to turn color from last night and today. So, it's going pretty good. It didn't roll up too awful bad there last night when we tried doing it. So, yeah. In the woods. That's my pipe number two rolled in the woods. So, the first one didn't turn out so bad. The second one... After he lectured me all week about not rolling it in the woods. Yeah, but we're not rolling it in the woods, well then we end up rolling it in the woods anyway, but... <laughs> Life. Oh well, you know, Life. so... Life has a way about it. Yeah. Well, like I said, we're uh, going to kick back and enjoy our coffee and uh, bring you guys back after a bit when we get stuff sorted and figured out. Okay, uh, decided to start cooking supper a little early. It's like, what, like around 2 o'clock or something like that. So, we're going to get a head start. We have an early supper. That way we can sit back, relax with our, with a full belly. <laughs> uh, DJ's stirring the ground beef up right now with the potatoes mixed in. Uh, Anthony's still cutting up a few more potatoes. They're already pre-cooked. You just got to slice them and dice them and all that jazz. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to put in it. Like we got mushrooms, we got uh, cream stall and whole kernel corn. We got uh, green beans. And at the very, very end of it, we put in a can of tomato soup. So, DJ, you done playing with that stove yet? What? No. Never played. No? He's still playing with the stove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got we got to figure it out last night with uh, front vent and all that stuff. Yeah, so. we have some. I got some work to do. Yeah, we got a little. You get a little bit of uh, you know tweaking and minor adjustments, but uh, other Maybe. than that, man, that thing is rocking out the heat really good today. Mm. So you got some really good dry hardwood. It was a pretty nice score too. So we uh, managed to cut that and scrounge that up a little bit earlier on. So. Let's say we, uh, oh, uh, get some carrots and celery to put in there too. Forgot about those. Yeah, the I love celery in this Yeah, stove. celery is good. Puts and the then we have a package of vegetable soup mix, I do believe, to throw in there. Yep. For some flavors. Yeah, for some extra you know, additives and, you know, 
preservatives yeah. and all the yeah. good stuff you need. Uh, yeah. So we started off with uh, the bacon fat that Anthony so kindly gave us this morning <laughs> when he cooked his bacon. So uh, it's a little salty, but that's what you get with uh, smoked bacon, right? Oh, is that pepper bacon? Yeah, it's also smoked mm -hmm. too. So it's got the smoked pepper, what is it, peppercorn bacon? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, peppercorn bacon. It's good stuff, but it's a little on the salty side, but other than that, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Yes, sir. It was so fun. we're going to do all that and bring you guys back when it's just about done. It's going to be good. It is so. I mean, Pat, all the smells already. The pot's eh? half full and there's nothing's in it yet. No. Yeah, we just started. So today on this episode of Backwoods Kitchen. <laughs> you use your teeth for a knife. <laughs> so we got supper on. Uh, we got a great big pot, and I mean big for three of us. Uh, last time uh, me and Anthony was out and we made this, had the exact same pot. We ate it that night for supper. We ate a little bit later on for a snack just you know something to eat we didn't have any more snacks to snack on or nothing like that so we had some of that plus we ate it in the morning for breakfast and Anthony ended up taking some home with him so I think that's what's going to happen this time again but there's, but there's three of us we got a little bit more ground beef and ground pork this time um, other than that we just got a few extra additives, you know, carrots, celery, and, uh, and a vegetable soup mix just to add in for the little extra kick, right? So, but uh, other than that, I think some of those two are going to end up taking some home because I got nothing to carry it in. So, but uh, other than that, it's going to be, oh, excuse me, coffee, coffee come back saying hi. Hoo hoo ta. But, uh, no, I say this guy's gonna take it home. We're gonna, well, what, 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 whatever's left, I guess. But, so we're gonna wait for that to get done. Should be about another, we think about 10 or 15 minutes probably before that's done. Yeah, I'd say about that, another 10 or 15 minutes, and that'll be done. So, uh, all we have to do is wait for the vegetable soup mix to kind of cook up and boil. I'm gonna throw that in. And then let that sit for another five or ten minutes, and then then whatever. So, but uh, oh, the lid's going on. Now he's being serious. Things are getting real. It's about to get real. Cause we're getting hungry. <laughs> Should have made dumplings. Oh, dumplings. We'll say, hey, whoa, we'll save that for another trip. Oh. All right. We'll save that for yeah. another special trip. How about that? Boy, I can so, when I left home yesterday, I was at 872 subscribers. I'm that close to the 1,000. So, maybe when I hit the 1,000 mark, maybe the three of us will come out again. Or we'll try and figure something out. To do like a one one K video type thing, so uh, see what we come up with. Anyways, we'll see what happens, how, what weekend it falls on, and everything. But I'm sure we'll figure something out between now and then. That vegetable soup mix starting to taste or smell good. Mm. Starting to taste good too. <laughs> <laughs> taste it in I can smell it in the air. <laughs> taste it. <laughs> but no, when I say we're out here having fun, so. Yeah, the out. backwoods kitchen. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we're gonna get stuff done and let that sit. And when it's all done, we'll let you have a look. Don't be tasting any now. All good.
Okay guys, uh, supper's done, it's just after 3 o'clock, so we're going to have an early one, but, you know, we had breakfast this morning and that was about it, that's all we've had all day, kind of working our way up to this. So that pot is, about three quarters full, or damn near close to being full. You don't know your measurements very good. Well, it's been a while, everything kind of cooks down, right, but I mean... <laughs> it's uh, it's full. It's about an inch and a half from the top, roughly. So it's it's a lot of food for three of us, but we're gonna eat what we can. Like I said earlier, I imagine somebody's gonna take something home. Wow, that's simmering guys, really good. Only I could give you guys the smell. Of you guys want to smell it? I'll bring you in closer for, uh, in, in a couple minutes. But man, that is some thick. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Too bad we didn't have taste of vision or smell of vision. You guys would be all over that like white on rice, I tell you what. But uh, that looks really good, really good. So we're going to dig in and hopefully get a full belly out of it or two. Yeah, yeah there's lots there's lots there, I tell you that. Holy cow. We need a visitor. <laughs> we need more company. Anybody get a deer call? <laughs> I got money! <laughs> that didn't work. Oh well. So so we're gonna dig in and uh, enjoy this awesome supper that DJ's never had before. <laughs> so Man, that smells good. Mm. That is good. Right there. Cheese bread. If I had my cheese bread, it'd be good. Yeah, oh. cheesy bread would be good with this. Dip it in it. Oh boy. Suck that Even uh, cheesy bagels? Oh, yes. Toast it right on top of the stove right now. Yeah. <laughs> Supper's done. <laughs> Hot. What do you guys think of that? that was, in the previous clips there, one hearty meal will warm you right up. Warm you from the inside out. Mm. Sure does. We've had a consistent rain. Probably yeah, it? it's been raining off, off and on. What it's is been, it? Probably it's, 10, 11 maybe? Three yeah. Celsius? Yeah. I don't know what that is for your American friends. I don't know the. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Yeah. But Google it. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Google's your friend. But uh, no, we got a got a, a good variety of uh, food in here. No ground beef, ground pork, potatoes, green beans, uh, whole kernel corn and cream stall corn, um, carrots, celery, uh, mushrooms. Vegetable soup mix. 
Pretty good taste. Though. So, yeah, tastes really good. I think it's the only thing they did different than you guys did last time was add carrot to celery. And, you've got and the vegetable soup mix. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. It just gives it that little extra. Yeah, just a little kick. Yeah. Best part is it don't need no salt and pepper. And all this stuff can be carried in super easily between a couple friends that are planning on a trip. This is not something yeah. you'd want to go on a yeah, like a long adventure on your own. No, right you never, you, you never, you know. You know, yeah. something that you and your friends so, are. Yeah, yeah, you can disperse the the food. The load, right? Yeah, disperse. We the, planned ahead and said this and this and this. And yeah, yeah. So we would talk about this here for the last two weeks. So just trying to get everything together for a two-day trip. And uh, I'd say it worked out rather well this time. That's it. It has. Not like the last time, you know. Family life came up, so family's first, right? So. It should always be. That's right. Family's first. Every, every One time, every time. So. But. I do have more butter, boys, if you want to put it on. Nevertheless, there. we made it out for a two day trip. He's making up for the last one he didn't get to go on, so. Mogi. Yes, sir. Pass me those crackers. Crackers! DJ brought crackers. Yes. Brought crackers. So. All right, we're going to sit back and enjoy this awesome meal. So, warm us from the inside out. We never know. Oh, we'll have plenty for later anyway. Mm. And for breakfast. Have a full belly going home. We won't want to do nothing. So. I'll probably have another little bit of it. All right, so yeah, we're gonna dig in, and uh, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll probably lounge around for a bit, and then bring you guys back and bring you up to speed. Bring you back when we're having some coffee. Yeah. done our supper oh man it was filling like like after like a big turkey dinner and all that jazz it was Anthony fell asleep for about what for <laughs> half an hour maybe it was about a half an hour I, don't I, think. Know, I can't tell I was asleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he would <laughs> but anyways no he was just so full that he just kind of leaned back relaxed and just done yeah, he was cutting logs with a little poolie and 50 or something. Mm -hmm. But anyways, no, uh, it was really good. What do you think, DJ? Oh, it was incredible. First time I ever had it. It won't be the last time. <laughs> I know Anthony enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. A little bit too much, I, I think. about a 9 o'clock snack. Just <laughs> back on the fireplace yeah, and warming up. Yeah. No, DJ still cooked that really well. We were yeah. all actually surprised on how well that it's kept us, you know, we've been so, under this tarp for a good part of the day. Yeah, to stay dry it's more. been raining off and on all day. Um, it, it really hasn't let up, really. It, uh, yeah, well, I can't you. say it didn't let up, but it it did for about half an hour, 45 minutes. So DJ wood. was running low on wood. So I was like, well, let's go find some. We found some. We got enough. Well, actually more than enough so uh me and him's gonna split that up between his stove and mine well, i'm only gonna probably run mine for a few hours tonight uh just get the dampness out and whatnot kind of dry, dry my area up a little bit uh anthony i think he's gonna 
Maybe bunk him with DJ tonight, I don't know. I think that's what's gonna happen. Who knows? It is it is quite damp down here, but uh, it's but it's we're bunk. making the best of it. Well, so here. Yeah, we're still here. We you're kinda of debating on where to leave. It is no, we're here, we're set up, we're staying. Yeah. That was the whole plan for a two day event. We're staying at two days, well really two and a half day, three night or sorry, two night. Two and a half day. There we go. I'll get a straight out after a while. No, it all worked out. Oh yes, all worked out fine. So yeah. we're gonna kick back here for a while. Enjoy DJ's stove. That thing's rocking the heat. The only I'm feeling thing I wish is you could see your fire. Yeah. Work I, in progress. Yeah. Mr. Ingenuity over there, he'll figure something out. So, but now like I said, we're gonna kick back. Relax, enjoy the heat. Try to let our supper settle. We had what about an hour ago? We finished. Yeah, about an hour and a half ago, we were finished eating. And man, I'm still full. We're just recuperating. Now. Yeah, it's just a little recoup session. <laughs> so, no, we're probably gonna make a coffee again. Or actually, I got some Gatorade in my backpack. So, with right here. So, uh, I'm going to have a drink of that. These guys are probably going to have a coffee. And he's probably going to have a hot chocolate or something. Or one of his Gatorades. Or, yeah, I think I might but, uh, no, we're going to kick back, relax, yeah, enjoy the heat yeah. for a while. Yeah, I'll bet you that's not cold. And, who knows? Might see you later on tonight. <coughs> okay, guys, we're, uh, it's getting to be about that time. I know Anthony's tired still. DJ's kind of just whittling away on a spoon that he started last year. <laughs> just had to finish it today. <laughs> 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 he Sitting was in, a, in a pile of wood and uh, what happened was I took the whole pile of wood over to, to my tarp for my stove. And I just stormed wood whatever last night and DJ mentioned about his uh, spoon, if it was in the pot. I said, geez, I don't know. So he toiled off, off, off from the bed and zipped his tent down. I toiled off the lawn. Anthony was already crashed out for the night, for a little bit anyway. Uh, I, I went over to my my shelter there and uh, got sorting the wood around, and I happened to see it. Picked it up. <laughs> DJ spoon. So I walked back over, tapped on his tent. He's like, what? <laughs> I unzip this tent, give him a spoon. He's like a kid in a candy shop. Like, yeah. my spoon! <laughs> so he was quite excited over that. And now he's going to finish it and take it home. Yes. After almost a year, I think it was. Wow, it's easy here. year. Yeah. Yeah, it stayed on that pile of wood. Yeah, nobody touched time. it. Nobody's been back here since we were, me and DJ was here last. So, but... Uh, yeah, it was. We had a pretty eventful day. We didn't do a whole lot. It started raining. I don't know. Was it around noon time? Something good like that. Good conversation. Some good food. Yeah. So yeah, it started raining a little bit. So we hunkered down in here and enjoyed some nice wood heat off DJ's stove. I'm really impressed with that too. Yeah, it's doing That's well. uh, <laughs> DJ's DIY wood stove V1. <laughs> yeah, right. 2.0 so, is coming out soon. Yeah, V2 is coming soon. <clears throat> yeah, I'll show that. I'll show that to you guys too. So, I'll. Uh, oh no, I'll see if he'll he'll let me. Uh, or maybe I'll get him to do a, do a review on his own stove. How about that? That'd be really cool. I think anyway. But yeah, let me do the changes to it, and then I can tell you what I did to it. Yeah. After right. tonight, what we realized I need to do. Yeah. So. And one is air. It needs. It needs a little yeah. bit more air. Yeah. Gonna yeah, modify it up a bit more, and then, yeah. and then, uh, you know, modify this, tweak that, this mm -hmm. and that, and everything else, right? So. But no, I think we're gonna finish soaking up a little bit of this wood heat and. I don't know. You got coffee on the go or any something like that? Maybe I, think I, I might be brewing up some here. Real yeah. Soon, no. All right. So we might brew up one more coffee each, and then kind of, you know, t 
toddle off her own separate shelters and well DJ's already in his so you don't gotta toddle off anywhere. Yes, if I could recommend a shelter boy yeah. girls. Yeah. This is a very yeah. He likes his Pomali uh yeah. hot fort shelter. I'm very uh very happy with this. Good good quality stuff. Yes, very much so. I'm not just I'm not saying that just because I own a lot of Pomali stuff, but it is it's made very, very well, very durable. Well, it's just uh, you can see it in yeah. the fabric. Like um, I do have a review on this style of tent. Well, actually, it's on this tent. <laughs> so, but I mean, I do have a review on it. I can link that in, in the in the video description. So, uh, you guys have anything to say? Not at all. No? Oh, good. Just remember. That's a first. Like. <laughs> like. <laughs> And I think yeah, subscribe yeah, to yeah. Like he yeah, he says like. <laughs> right. So yeah, he just wants to remind you guys, you know, like, subscribe, and share. But I've never said it, so you don't have to say it. I said it. Right. <laughs> tell your friends. Yeah. Tell, tell your, your friends, friends. Tell your enemies. <laughs> tell yeah. your girlfriend's friends. Tell your girlfriend's yeah. friends. Yeah. Right. So on. So on. So. Something to watch when they're in their sewing circle. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, we're going to brew up another coffee a piece, and then uh, kind of toddle off our own separate ways, like I said, and then uh, go to bed, I think. Yep, I think so. Think so? Sound like a plan? Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning for coffee. Again. Morning guys and girls. Well <laughs> I'm ending the video basically how we started it. Alone. So DJ ended up getting a phone call this morning. He had to get home quick. Well not quickly, but he had to get home. Uh you know. Family stuff, right? So that's fine. Anthony, he had to go with DJ because he came in with DJ. So, but that's that's all good, you know. We all had a really good time. Um, it is supposed to downpour with rain here within the next couple of hours. So, I'm almost all packed up. I just have my stove left, and I gotta pour uh, water all over my. Uh, uh, hot coals that I dumped out into, into the fire pit this morning. So, I was awake probably about 3, 3.30. Uh, oh, excuse me. Went to bed at probably about 11 or so. I watched, uh, watched a movie. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. 
I said I watched the movie last night. Got it over around one ish. So I uh, during the movie I probably I stuck the stove up one time, let it burn before it crashed. I put a few more pieces in, nice good solid hardwood pieces. Let them catch, damped it down. I was out. I woke up about 3.30ish, like I said, I think it was. And, yep, go pee. Tossed a couple more pieces in this morning, or around that time when I was done. And uh, let them catch, damped down again. Holy cow! Woo! Excuse the heck out of me. I was awake about quarter to eight this morning, and there was still some hot coals left in my, in my stove. So, but I'm going to finish packing up, drink my coffee, bring you guys back, do a recap, and say goodbye. Okay, uh, just about packed up, well, I'm all packed up actually, uh, except for my camera and tripod, which have to go on uh, this side of my backpack, so I know I keep checking periodically on my way here and on my way home, make sure everything's still there. So I'll have to loosen my ratchet straps all back up, get my tripod, my camera, and everything all, all back in. Um, but no, I'd say uh, we had a we had a really good time over the pet course of the past couple days. That suit, man! Oh my God, that was just mm, that was awesome. Uh, bonuses: nobody took any home. We finished that last night, so it averaged out to about three bowls a piece. So we finished that. I, mean, I was still stuffed this morning like, from it. I'm hungry now, but when I first got up, man, I wasn't hungry at all. So, like I said, overall, we all had a great time. They had to pack up and go early, family stuff, and they wanted to beat the rain. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to beat the rain. Well, I'm probably going to get caught in it going home. But, the bonus is, at least I'm going home. <laughs> I go home, showered up, cleaned up, dry clothes. Hang everything up to dry. 
and all that fun stuff. So, with all that being said, I'm going to get the camera and tripod packed away and head the trails for home. So until the next one, catch you guys later. Okay guys, thanks for watching part two of this two part series. If you missed part one, I'll link that in the video description below. So, just to recap on everything, we all had a really, really great time. Great company, good friends, a very long time friends. <laughs> so, but no, uh, DJ's uh, hot tent, that was a little bit of a pain in the butt to set up, but uh, what tent is in the time, right? Uh, with his tent, it's going to be on pretty much level ground, otherwise it's not going to, you're not going to get that uh, perfect pitch. But we managed, we made do with it, set up really good actually for the location. Um, he was nice and warm with his DIY stove. That thing was pretty interesting. Um, so my shelter is just a typical plow point with a tarp, with a stove jack installed. Uh, that is the Pomali Wolf Den Rhombus. Uh, DJ's tent is the Hot Fort Shelter. And Anthony had just a four person Coleman Dome tent. So I'll put the product links in the video description and everything. So, but until the next one, see you guys later.